Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can change computer IP address using Java. So in one of my previous video, I have shown you how you can run command from commands uh, from Java project. And uh, in another video, I have shown you how you can change computer IP address uh, from command prompt. Okay. So in this video, I am going to uh, uh, basically I'm going to club these two concepts okay so I'll be uh, using the concept uh, to run uh, these commands from uh, the program I have shared uh, before okay so I'll be showing this example in my Eclipse IDE so I have uh, just opened my Eclipse IDE uh, if you don't know how to uh, install an Eclipse uh, for Java developers I have another video for that go into my videos okay now I'm going to create a new Java project here so let it be java project and uh, i'm uh, giving the name uh, of the project as change ip address okay and rest everything i'm uh, giving it uh, putting it as default and finishing it so the project has been created okay so inside the src package i'm going to create another package uh, com.jmajava.com inside this i'm going to copy uh, these two uh, java classes my main dot java and sync pipe okay so i'm going to create a new class under my main as my main and again same way i'm going to create a new class sync pipe okay so uh, basically this is uh, uh, this two uh, class is uh, i'm using uh, for running the command from commands okay so i'll show let me copy it here inside my main like this and uh, I have to import this string writer like this and now for the sync pipe I have to copy all these and uh, just paste it here okay yes that's all so this uh, this one will have cancelled but no worries okay now this uh, will execute the command host name so it will print my PC name actually so if I am just running as a Java program you can see my PC name is getting print here so if I am just uh, uh, printing IP config uh, slash or it will print my uh, wait it will print all my IP information like this okay so my IP address currently is uh, this one okay 192 so this is of my IP address of my Wi-Fi adapter so I have connected to my Wi-Fi you can see here my IP address is 192.168.100.52 okay now I'm going to change this from here to 192.168.100.53 maybe okay you can put any uh, so I'm going to create a string value here string IP address so this is the one I'm gonna set here so I'm setting it as uh, 192.168.100.53 okay now I'm giving the adapter name okay so adapter name so this is my adapter name actually so you can get it from adapter name from network engineer settings change adapter options and uh, here it is my adapter name is Wi-Fi okay Wi-Fi so my adapter name is Wi-Fi like this without any space with space right with space yes with Y hyphen Fi okay like this okay so if you want to change any other, ad other adapter like this one Ethernet just copy this name from here and now my name is Wi-Fi uh, you can set any name here in re either rename here and put it here okay now I'm going to set the IP address so from uh, the other video how you can set it from command prompt let's try that from command prompt first let me open my command prompt now going back to oh, the page where I showed you how you can change uh, uh, the IP address using command prompt so this is the command to view the interface name or uh, adapter name let me run this from here you can see I have Ethernet and Ethernet 2 and this is the one Wi-Fi I'm going to set as uh, to the new IP address okay so to so we will be setting uh, all this information like uh, mm, the
the IP address subnet mask default gateway preferred DNS 1 and alternate DNS 2 okay so we'll be setting uh, these five values so I'm going to create a uh, five uh, IP address is already there the other four uh, parameters I'm just creating here okay have just uh, set all the parameters IP address subnet mask uh, default gateway and the DNS 1 and DNS 2 okay I'll be setting like this as I have uh, shown in this example okay now uh, from set all these parameters we can use the same commands uh, uh, which I have shown in this example okay so I'm not going to explain one by one so this command will uh, set uh, so set uh, the IP address and uh, the default DNS and uh, the gateway to the specified value so in my our example is 53 I am just setting it as 53 ok now let me copy this and if I am just executing it here oh ok so this command prompt should be run as administrator for that should have administrator privilege to run it ok I have just run it and if I am just setting it as there is no error which means uh, the IP address has been changed ok now to uh, execute the other two values so this is the one which I'm going to set the uh, DNS one so let me copy it here same way and if I'm just executing it one it will set the primary DNS it to double eight uh, eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and uh, same way if I'm just uh, copying this one and setting the adapter name as Wi-Fi and uh, the DNS2 is this one okay and I'm setting it here like this and copying and uh, just executing that to like this it will set the uh, DNS2 also okay now let's uh, go to our adapter options let's see what is IP address uh, set is that it, before it was automatic now we have set it to 100.53 and this is the dns server okay so this is how you do it in uh, the command prompt okay now we'll be just uh, setting this as a dynamic values uh, in this command okay so let's see i am just copy pasting it three times i'm copying one by one here and uh, this is the other one and this is the third one okay now uh, we have to set uh, these values dynamically to the yes I have just set everything as uh, a dynamic value so it will take all these uh, uh, values from uh, our input now uh, the adapter is uh, the uh, uh, we have already set it from command prompt as a static one I'm uh, setting it dynamic again now coming back I'm going to set this as 5 5 and saving this and let's see let's run this one so it should set the ip address as uh, the new one okay so it's saying it should run as administrator so if it's coming like this just run your eclipse id as administrator okay so here there is an option if i'm right clicking here that is option run as administrator okay so i am just clicking that as uh, because uh, the current workspace is currently using I am closing the current one so I have just opened that workspace again in administrator mode okay now let's try running the Java application again so go to run as Java application yes it is worked okay it is worked this will come don't worry I think uh, it will work correctly if I'm just going to adapter settings again you can see here in the status not in status in the properties there is in IPv4 you can see everything is set as we have uh, given it here okay so hope you got this this uh, program can uh, change your IP address uh, as you have said in this string variables okay so I'll share all the source code in my description can have it if you have any doubt in this please comment below I will try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching